Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. I'm gonna unbox it with a knife I just got that I absolutely adore. This is the Brian Brown Knives Raptor. Look at this thing. The blue accents and the plain tie with that harpoon blade just quickly becoming a favorite, but I got a lot of favorites, you guys know that. Anyway, cut into this. This is from Giant Mouse, it's sharp. Um, this is the Ace Sonoma V2, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really pay attention to this knife when it came out. Got some Dr. Peppa cream soda. Yeah, when this came out, I didn't really pay attention to it. I remember it, but like I wasn't like I don't know interested. It's only like 195 bucks. It's made by Riot. This one has green micarta and Elmax on a satin blade. And the other day, somebody left a comment on one of my videos. Shout out to um, I forget. I'm sorry. I can't remember who it was. My bad. Shout out though. <laughs> you know who you are. And he was like, dude, you should try the Ace Sonoma version 2. It's a liner lock. It has a reversible clip. It's made by Riot, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, shit, you know what? I should. <laughs> so I just straight up ordered it. And then I replied and I was like, hey, man, I ordered one. <laughs> so um, it's here. And it took a couple days because uh, it's yesterday. The post office marked it delivered uh picked up indiv individual picked up at post office i'm like what so it's not at my house i go to the post office they're like uh and i'm like dude it says right here somebody picked it up it was out for delivery and then i picked it up apparently like obviously they put it on the wrong truck fucked up the sorting whatever i got it so here it is you get your shitty giant mouse box with a card in it i guess that's how they can sell knives for um $195 made by Riot, so I'm not going to complain too much. One thing that bothers me right off the bat about this knife, yep, I have complaints already, is it feels kind of heavy for the sides, and I'm pretty sure that's because they went with these stupid brass accents. I don't know why Voxnez loves, I don't know if it's Voxnez or, it, yeah, because he did it with Urban EEC. Here's the knife. So you can see it has a brass pivot collar and a backspacer. Uh, he did it with the Catla from Viper. He did it with the Urban EEC Supply, uh, Copita, and some other ones. It just adds weight unnecessarily to a light knife. Like, why are we adding weight to this thing? You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, it's dead nut centered. Again, this is made by Riot. Makes me much more, um, well, one, it raises my expectations but two, it makes me not so worried about it because if this was made in Italy, like most of their knives, you know, uh, I will say the micarta is sort of smoothish. It's not like that rough sort of micarta, like American style micarta that I like, but it feels pretty good. Obviously we have a uh, deep carry wire clip that does not go to the butt end of the knife. That does bug me on some knives uh, if you're gonna do a wire clip it should go pretty much to the end but i gotta be careful because i'm working on a knife design and it's not all the way <laughs> um but it is reversible and you know what you barely have anything sticking out so it's not a big deal backtracking um and you got a flipper tab that's kind of aimed downwards which is interesting i had a knife recently like that it was the leong ma hawk and they dialed the detent perfectly on that one okay that felt pretty good um the ergos right off the bat this feels really good in hand it actually fills my hand more than i expected the liner lock version seemed or the frame lock version seemed thinner this feels like it fills my hand pretty good i can bear down a good bit before i start feeling the inside of the liners and everything we're going to check the access to the lock bar here get in there oh. okay she dropped really nice but she didn't shake from there down pretty good shake i mean this is the first flips it was cold obviously i haven't put bearings i haven't done anything this is just fresh out of the package 
no play, ah, tiniest bit of play, no lock rock, but I mean, it drops. Was that a little bit of lock stick? Nah. Um, yeah, I mean, the only problem with it is going to be that it's flipper only. So it's probably going to be, it's probably going to get boring real fast for me, but I got to say, it's a good knife. I mean, it feels good in hand. Oh, there's a choil. Hey, there's a choil. Didn't even see that. So you have a choil. I think it's about a three and a half inch blade. This cuff version two is three and a half inches. Yep. So you have a three and a half inch blade on here of LMAX steel, which is great. I obviously went with the satin. Whenever it's a Riot knife, you want to go with the satin. At least I do, because you get these beautiful grind lines. You get that chalky uh finish although this one doesn't man this thing's sharp as fuck and thin as hell holy cow it's almost a full flat grind you have a sort of crown spine i say sort of because it's i don't know if it's really crown i guess it is um jimping is in the absolute perfect position for me see it right there my thumb lands right on top of that when i'm in the choil even when i'm back here i can ride up to that man this feels really good in hand uh, the lock bar is good again. You get good access left handed, good access right handed for sure. I do want to maybe try to get a little more drop shot. You got to remember three and a half inches, but it's a very thin, lightweight blade. So, you know, and it does need to break in. It's on, it's on brass cage, shit stamp bearing. So obviously some skiffs would, would help. I just ordered a bunch. So maybe I'll drop some in here. How's the lock up? Lockup looks absolutely solid as a rock. Let's try a little spine whackage. Nothing crazy. Disengages. Did we get any blade rock or anything? Nope. And I think we actually got rid of that play. Yeah, I think I'm I'm rocking the frame, not the blade. So there's no blade play either. Yeah, this is nice, guys. Uh, I am... What am I going to do? Do I want to flip the clip around real quick? Let's do it. Got my handy dandy Vero Fulcrum with my logo on it. I'm just gonna assume it's a T8. Yep. Now let's see. Can I just raise this up, pull the clip out? Let's see if the other side is also the same size screw. Sometimes you can just loosen the screw with the clip and then. Go to the other side, loosen a little bit so it comes up, and then slide the clip in underneath it. There we go. That clip might have been, that screw might have been made for the clip, I'm not sure. But anyway, there it is, reversed. Now I can kind of grab it with, oh, it's on a weird angle though. Is that normal? How did it look on the other side? Did it look like that? Does that seem like a weird angle? Because it's lefty, I guess. I mean, it goes in pocket perfectly fine. Let me just loosen this and see if it corrects itself or something. Ah, there we go. That's what I thought. So let me switch these screws because I'm pretty sure the problem here is me, not the... Eh. No, it's the same. Same screw. I mean, I can switch them just to be safe, but... Sometimes the screw for the clip side is a little longer cause to account for that clip, obviously. Um, but it doesn't seem to be the case here. So, anyway, you just put the screw in a little bit, and then you can squeeze the clip around it push it into the 
slots like so and then tighten that screw down the rest of the way let's see if I can get it this it wants to turn to the side I guess that's lined up yeah that's lined up so that's pretty good sometimes if you over tighten the clip tends to like shift to a side there it is left hand clip Sonoma great action great detent great blade I mean I can already tell this thing is a slicing beast I mean let's see caught the choil there let's, let's use the choil yeah I mean just absolutely a tank not a tank I'm sorry a beast oh yeah look at that already breaking in a little bit yeah it's gonna be a nice one guys I think I like this knife a lot man I'm starting to like a lot of lefty or uh flipper only knives shit can I fail it no you cannot fail it and if you try it can thunder out there too it's really nice I'm digging it I'm liking the slim slender knives too the Satori the Raptor I mean we go through phases guy Riot made as well right so all right that's it guys that's the giant mouse ace sonoma version 2 unboxing obviously i'll do a, a desktop first impressions with this guy man look at that blade though that grind is excellent 195 bucks i mean giant mouse you know i mean that's cool you get great ergos you always get great blade and cutting and everything and if it's made by riot you usually just get a great knife and for that price i mean think about it a liner lock I think it's titanium liner lock. Oh, do I have a magnet? Yes, I do have a magnet. My flashlight. Hold on. Yeah, that's a titanium liner lock with micarta scales and a wire clip, LMAX blade steel, brass backspacer and stuff. 195 bucks. I mean, I see knives with these materials going for 300. Uh, hey. Jake's knife, Bearded Gears knife from Luft Concepts. All the same materials except you're going to have uh, M390 instead of LMAX crown spine, titanium liner lock, micarta, wire clip. That one's $300. Now, obviously, that's a boutique brand, a smaller brand. Just it's their first knife. That price makes sense. I'm not saying they're overpricing it, but I am saying that Giant Mouse is doing a great job with their pricing. So it's the benefit of having a successful knife company. You can start to pump knives out at a, at a reasonable price. They also probably ordered like a thousand of these or something instead of 300. That makes a big difference, guys. So anyway, going to shut up now. Giant Mouse Ace Sonoma version 2 green canvas micarta LMAX satin blade. I love you guys. I appreciate all your support, truly. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Vince uh semper fi edc guy he's been at the 50 dollars level on my patreon for a while now and i just want to uh thank him personally for it um he's a big part of the reason that i get some of my shipping money back every month and uh it's just super helpful so uh thank you vince i truly appreciate it i love you brother uh, and he's always doing uh, charitable things on his Instagram. Go follow him, man. He's doing a giveaway like all the time for charity. Um, so I absolutely love all of you. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.